like Lutheran Church and Friends, I am Pastor Neil Cannon, and it is very good to be back with you. As many of you know, I have been on paternity leave these last six weeks. It has been an amazing time. We've been with little Lucas, who's a month old. We've got Miles and Noah. I spent a lot of quality time with the boys this, this uh, past month. And of course, uh, finding ways that I can be supportive for Mary as well. Um, it's been a great time away. I've cherished it. But also, I want to admit to all of you that it's been a difficult time away because as many of you know, babies at 3 a.m. like to cry and wake up their parents in the middle of the night. And of course, Miles is still three and Noah's still five and we're still dealing with those challenges as well. So as great a time away as it has been, it's also been a time of stress and it's been a time where I felt a little short and a little more tired and a little more uh, punchy than usual. So uh, we're gonna talk about that and talk about um, our story in the gospel lesson where Jesus actually also feels a little tired and a little burned out uh, as we find as he uh, talks to a Gentile woman uh, who asks his daughter to be healed. And so we'll explore that topic together this Sunday. We hope you come join us. It'll be at 10 a.m. We'll be in the sanctuary or online. Um, also, I want to invite you all to Rally Sunday this next week, uh, September 12th, 10 a.m. Uh, worship itself will be in the sanctuary, but where I'm standing will also have inflatables inval available for the kids, both before and after the service. Uh, we just encourage kids to dress appropriately for that. Um, we will also have a meal available over there uh, as for, that'll be for after the service. We'll have tables set up and chairs and things ready to go. The grassy area over on my right uh, will be available for people who kind of want to do a picnic, st picnic style. So if you want to do that, you can bring some chairs uh, as well. Uh, that'll be a great, great opportunity. We're looking forward to that. And last but not least, uh, it will also be God's Work Our Hands Day in the church. And we have three projects, uh, three service projects that we're going to do as Wood Lake to celebrate God's Work Our Hands Day. The first service project that we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, litter cleanup in our Richfield area. We're giving specific attention over to the parks over there. So we're looking forward to that. If you want to join us for that, please dress appropriately. Uh, make sure you have comfortable shoes and shorts and clothes and things like that. Um, if you're not able to do that, if you're not uh, really able to move around a lot, we're also doing a project inside the Narthex where we will make cards for the kids at Richfield Middle School, just welcoming them back to school and saying uh, that we appreciate you, we support you, and we want to continue to uh, be a presence for you uh, in this community. And last but not least, we have a really interesting uh, uh, project that you all can do. Uh, what many people don't know is that our neighborhoods many years ago were built and sometimes they were built with these things called racial covenants and uh, what that did is it essentially excluded certain people of color from joining certain communities. Um, sometimes those rules are still in the books today. So if you want to find out if your neighborhood was built with racial covenants, we encourage you to do so and you'll be able to do so uh, in the, uh, uh, as part of our um, rally day plans as well. We encourage you to check it out. Um, I'm going to go see if my, my neighborhood was built with racial covenants and we'll have some action steps to do for you to do uh, if that is the case. So we encourage you to come rally Sunday September 12th at 10 a.m. and of course this Sunday September 5th at 10 a.m. Uh, you can join us in the sanctuary or online. God bless, good to see you all and looking forward to being with you soon.